barbecue fam. Today, we're doing up some beef ribs on a char griller 980, and we're getting rid of this guy. Oh, hell yeah, check this out. So to get rid of that long, aggravating wire, or say your power went out, what are you gonna do in the middle of a cook? So we get this USB cable, a battery pack with USB ports, bada bing, rock and roll, we got this. I mean, it's cool to plug it in and let it roll, but if you can go wireless, you can wheel this thing around your yard. I'm using actually a battery pack with a solar panel on it, charges itself if you're in the sun this is the setup I'm using a giant battery pack I mean it's not big but it's 30,000 milliamps in a USB cable now if you guys are interested in that obviously link will be down below super awesome to have And in today's world, most of us have battery packs laying around. This USB cable is only $8. So, save yourself the hassle if your power goes out in the middle of a cook. Hell yeah. Oh, we got a couple racks of beef ribs and a couple other slices of short ribs as well. All we're doing with these guys is hitting them with a little bit of avocado oil and Uncle Steve's cow shake competition. Oh hell yeah, you gotta try it if you've never had it. It is my go-to for almost everything. And we're not gonna trim these up, pull a membrane, none of that. Simple, we're not cutting, unless there's something massive. So go ahead and trim them. But we're going at 250, 275. We're loading up this chimney with some lump charcoal, couple chunks of hickory, couple chips of hickory as well. Just toss it in there. And in the bottom, I'm gonna throw in three chunks of pecan wood and keep that to the far left so you don't burn up anything. So when it comes to ribs, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I've ever tempt ribs. I've cooked hundreds of racks. I don't think I've ever tempt them, ever. Uh, you're going for color, you're going for feel, and definitely you want the aroma of the, the beef, oh hell yeah. But really, you don't need to tempt them. They got a built-in temp gauge. Once those bones start pulling through, you know you're getting close, and if they're moist, wet they're not dried out you didn't burn them up so guys the the gimmick of the, the, the pens and needles and this and that you don't need it but i will 100 percent agree with an ambient temperature having a backup with uh so you got one on board with the char griller but i always have a backup so you just know what's going on inside the chamber of what you're cooking that is handy Go feel, color first, feel, and just as long as they moist, if they need some moisture, you can spritz them. Beef ribs, you really don't even need to do that. So we're gonna check on these ribs. We're looking for color. We're looking for the feel. Get that bark set up. Oh, look at that. And we're sizzling. We got moisture. No spritz, no nothing. Give me a hell yeah! Need a little more time on that bark for sure. And you could also wrap if you want to get them even more tender. So when those ribs start to develop that bark, you can feel it, it's tacky, it's awesome. That, you could wrap them as well, but you're gonna lose that bark, so no wrap. Honestly, I rarely ever spritz 
beef ribs as well so you guys got to get out there try it out the more cooks you do under your belt the better you're gonna get it's all repetition and with this uh, 275 three four hours you're pretty much dead on every time so and beef ribs smell delicious oh yeah So we rocked these beef ribs for four hours, 15 minutes, pulled them, let them rest for another 10, cut them, and then, uh, oh, I can't take it anymore. We gotta get one. Killer smoke ring. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. Mmm, man. <laughs> let's let's get one of these short ribs too. I said, give me a hell yeah! Man, that is rocking. Beef ribs is where it's at. Simple. Just salt, pepper is all you really need to do on these. And um, that competition cow shake, oh hell yeah, from Uncle Steve's. If you can get some, go get it. Man, it's rocking. These beef ribs were amazing. The battery backup, no plug-in, worked out decent. But if you're running low and slow, the battery will shut off. So, but the temperature rate stays right around 275, 285 on the Char Griller 980. So keep close attention to that. I had a fast, um, hot, fast cook. No problems in the 400 degree range recently. Um, only when I was trying to kick it down to 260 to 275, some issues were just shut off. So keep that in mind, but man, awesome in no plug-in, that really rocked. Go out there, make yourself some beef ribs. Oh hell yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next cook. I said give me a hell yeah. But then you're gonna toss in some pecan chunks in the bottom. Yeah, T Roy. Pecan. <laughs> mm hmm.